Okay, hello. YouTube, Google Plus people, Watcher people, DOT people, and anyone else who's discovered a path of enlightenment. Okay, so I'm talking about a lot of stuff in my last video up there. Um, when when the illusion clears and I saw that all these people they hide behind something else okay always trying to create a scapegoat to hide behind okay that's why these people all like create these fake organizations to do their dirty work for them over there in the middle east and kill all the gentiles claim like whoa we didn't have anything to do with that you know of course now they've been found out yeah but whatever so they try try to create scapegoats to hide behind okay what do they want to do? They want to elevate the throne above our Lord. Okay, they want to be the creators. They want to. They want to continue to uh, exploit us. Continue to feed off of us. Continue to, you know, consume our souls. Continue. No. Okay. That's it. About to be all done. There'll be no more people getting caught up in some enemy's so yellow box machine. You know, no people at all. No people. Okay. After we leave and come back and all the people, whatever, you know, the gods sift out what goes on there. Uh, when we come back, there's there will be no without people. It's not going to be any without people. How How is there going to be without people? There's nobody. Is, there's going to be so much security. And we're going we're gonna to have our allies at home make sure this time that it's not going to. I mean, you know, I don't know if they're going to be able to get rid of the virus, you know, once and for all. I mean, that'd be great, you know. Be great, guys, if you get rid of it. All right, so. Remember, when the TV, what does it say in the scripture? Oh, not scripture. Don't say scripture. That's scorch. Say people's learning. Okay. What does it say in the people's learning? And the sky will be, will fold up like a scroll. The sky will fold up like a scroll. You know. The TV goes back to the little dot. Now, is that going to get rid of the virus? I mean, is it like a reset of the game? I mean, are we starting over like boom, boom? And it's going to be clear, and the person who's, who's ever run the giant video game that we're in, is this person or this entity or intelligence, whatever it is, sees fit then to give us a new, a new chance, you know? A new, a new, a new chance, you know? To, to do it again, you know, but it's not going to be a prison. You know, we'll, we'll have interdimensional capabilities, so we won't be in prison and we'll have off earth capabilities. So we're not going to be in prison here, you know. And our protection system is going to be so extensive. I'm going to make it because I'm going to make it, you know, we ain't playing around, okay? You know, the, 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 our, our, Enforcement of spiritual law will be present among us for a while to come until we're secure in our in our well being. Okay, it'll be a group effort, you know, just like in Germany when we all got together. Everybody pitched in. Okay, so they want to elevate the throne of God. They want to copy everything that we did. When I talk about copy everything that we embody and everything we are and everything we did, they manipulate history and take credit for for battles that we won. They go back in their time with their little devices they got and destroy our statues. So, you know, years later when the archaeologists come along, they're not going to understand what happened there. They're going to, you know, they manipulate shit in that manner, you know. 
Okay, so they want to copy everything, these people, including us, including us. Okay, now remember, I said, how many times I say, man, Hillary Clinton looks like my mother? If you put brown hair on my Hillary Clinton, she looks just almost exactly like my mother. Like, most definitely could be her sister, you know. Okay, there's some really extremely wrong with my family because both my parents got brown hair, and yet my sister and brother both got brown hair. So I always thought that was strange. <clears throat> and now you look at my mother's sisters. My mother got brown hair, and her one sister got reddish, blondish hair, and the other one got blonde hair. You know, people say, oh, that can happen naturally. Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. So I always knew something strange. Now, I told you that three form deity brings itself into creation, you know, around self into creation, you know, self creating, or whatever. You know. And I'm sure that there's other three form deities still hanging around that still have this capability. I would imagine. Okay, now. What? Uh, I don't know where that was. That's, uh, okay, I came across some scripture. I mean, not scripture. People's learning. That has a list of 12 prophets. Or 12 prophets. <laughs> and we got 12 crown princes. Mm, the correlation there. All right. So they want to copy us. They want to be like us. Okay. So what happened? So they want to be like me. You know, that's where that saying came came from. You know, want to be like Mike, whatever. All right. So let's take a look at these people now. Hillary Clinton. I say look like my mother. John Travolta looked like me. John Travolta all day long looked like he could be my son. Um, Tom Cruise looked like he could be my son. Uh, uh, it's a lot of people who look like they could be my children. Okay, now, one of these gangs talking people, I was walking through the woods and they, she appeared out of nowhere because they know how to disappear and all that shit. And she appeared out of nowhere and she told me, I was in the middle of the woods and all of a sudden there was this girl standing there. And I was like, whoa. And she said, you have a lot of children. That's what she told me. And she disappeared again. Oh, and then I seen her again. Then I saw the little blue truck they drive around. So they were stalking me. Uh, uh, that's neither here nor well, it is here and there because that's what she's talking about. And then, of course, someone could consider son the sea sons and daughters of Adam, you know. That way too, possibly. But so, um, <laughs> so check it out. You know, history goes on. You know, Confederacy, Canaanites, Hittites, Ananites, all these people just probably changed the name. That was probably the na not the name of the organization. They changed it a little bit to you know confuse us and hide the wisdom <clears throat> of these. It was they were just hybrid races. You know. I told you every sixty years, seventy years they create, or what thirty years? I don't know, whatever it is. Now they probably, you know, they, they create hybrid races. Okay, that's why I, I I posted a video of the guy saying, "Yeah, we're created by the Green Monkey Monsters, and we're trying to help humanity, or whatever." Blah blah blah. So through the years of them killing us, they took our DNA, or you know, and they cloned us. You know. All the people, all the big shot movies, uh, people, whatever, entertainment people, they're all clones of us, you know, not them. They want to be like Mike. They want to be like the Gentile. They want to be like God. They want to elevate their throne. So they, that's how they, you know, that's how, you know, one reason they pick these people, you know, to show us like, yeah, you know, 
you might have won a battle back then or whatever, but huh, huh, now you made a clone of your person or your one of your people, and now we're going to have them do our bidding, you know, right in front of your face, like, as a sign of disrespect. Okay, that's what it is. A sign of disrespect. Hold on, I'm sorry. I tell you the bottom line is this. Our Lord says, uh, it, it, it's only good morals what I approve of. So if you're not engaged in good morals, and you're not exhibiting good morals, you're not in court to our Lord, and you're not representing me, you're not representing our Lord, you're not representing any, any of us. And that's the bottom line, because don't close this up. Okay. So yeah, I thought that was, you know, interesting information there. So they copy everything, they hide behind everything, they elevate the throne above, they try to elevate the throne above the law, they want to be the creators, Every, everyone, all of them are on need to know basis, their concerns are wealth, sex, drugs, decadence, luxury, easy way out, deceit, hiding, tech, holding technology, holding our advancements, destroying our free will, and mis misrepresenting divine source. You know. There's some of the major transgressions uh, to interfere with the true mass salvation, to interfere with the, the free will of any human sentient being, and to, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But, uh, well, yeah. And there was something else I wanted to say too. What else I want to say? That. So, I already explained all the, oh yeah, so, okay, so now that we know that we're living in their sections or whatever, it's possibly, possibly that they could man, be manipulating our perception by events occurring in another frequency that we're not actually existing in, but through the television or spirit box, uh, media, any form, any form of media, or whatever, uh, you know, we're made to believe something else. You know, so what does that come down to? If, you know, I always thought, you know, this is funny, I, this might be funny like, to some people, but, <laughs> you know, whenever I envision, like, our people on the other side of Jordan, the other side of the river, the other side of the uh, river of separation, the other side of the dimension, the fourth dimension, whatever. You know, it's like I want to, I, I, I see, or I want, I guess I want to see, you know, like I try to look, you know, what do I see there? And I see people, you know, pissed off, you know, about what's going on. And I see people happy and, you know, watching us, you know, and, not happy because of what's going on, but they, you know, like, they want to encourage us, but, you know, they can only influence our reality so much, whatever, so they, you know, they want to encourage us, they want to help us, and you know, all this stuff. And I, I, you know, I envision a screen, you know, they're watching a screen, you know, they're watching our posts and shit, you know. It's, you know, so we're, you know, we're enlightening so many, we, we're enlightening other races, you know, observer races. We're enlightening other dimensions. But, you know, even people in other dimensions, they might, they're probably not totally aware of what's going on here or other frequencies, whatever you want to say. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, if there's like governmental people watching, whatever, we're enlightening them too, you know. And, you know, we're all we're doing is just. Putting our two cents, that, that's it. You know. We're not running around killing people, and, you know, causing, you know, we're just peaceful. This is a peaceful, you know, presentation, you know. That's all it is, you know. Of course, we get pissed off and, you know, threaten each other once in a while, whatever. And then the next day, a couple of days later, or whenever time later, then you're talking to the person again, you know, and then you, you know, because cause we're quick to judge. You know, we're quick to judge because it's such a critical time that anybody who's spreading any false propaganda is immediately going to get attacked because 
there's no time to play around. It's a serious business here. A serious business, man, you know. And eventually, like I said, everyone's going to be able to see quite clearly who is the controlled opposition and who is not, you know. And then, punishment is coming. <laughs> You interfere if you are if you're on Google Plus and you spread it false propaganda and all this Jesus stuff and all that, okay, you're interfering with the true message of salvation. You spread enemy propaganda. And that's what you're doing. Yeah. That's unacceptable to me. Well it's uncle sir. Yeah. So How, so so let's ask ourselves. Okay, so now we realize that we're not in the same frequency as other of other uh, frequencies. Or you know, now that we know that we're in some kind of section, you know, what is our responsibility? Like we're in this section, and there's some Jews living here. They ain't bound nobody. It's going about the business, you know, whatever. But over there in Israel, which is, you know, basically just a Illuminativille, and they created hybrid rice and put them there and made them look all weird with fucking, you know, crazy shit, you know, crazy hair and beard and stuff, and made them wear the square, Saturn square and all that. Saturn square is not really a square, that's earth, you know, this prison, that's really what it symbolizes. It's how to relate it to but so what exactly are we responsible for like if we're existing in a section where really the only you know major like right here like the only major persecution that's going on is like the police you know persecuting people or fbi or you know i don't know if this uh, story is true about the fbi and these people going like kidnapping children and raping them and killing them it could be true you know but i don't know if it's true you know obviously you know these people are so deranged that they think that they believe in their mind that if they rape a small a child and they kill them that they become immortal you know they tell them all kinds of crazy shit. you know then a lot of the people are reptilians and they you know we think they're human but no they're reptilians and they're that's maybe they you know or well we see the jews are all pedophiles you know and they have some you know completely bizarre rituals you know chopping up little kids genitals and eating them on an altar and stuff i mean that's fucking insane like what you know so these people be doing the same crazy shit you know eating people well reptilians eat people they eat us you know we're like their slaves you know they basically took over took over the place you know I think we should come to terms with that fact, but you know, time's up, man. You know, his reign is over. You know, reign's over, man. All the authorities are here. They're not gonna let this shit continue, man. They don't let it continue. So, we we'll keep working hard and putting in our two cents and trying to wake up the dead. You know, and you know, I know that as far as I'm concerned, we we do not have free reign. Over this prison, we were in prison when it became an enemy. But when the shadows fall and the doors open, yes, then it's our earth. Then tie has changed. Then we have free reign to do anything we want. You know, anything we want. Divine right. By divine right, any DOT, no, divine right. You know, divine right. Do what you gotta do. Like I said, you're without, you're without. You know, I'm not concerned, so I, there's, I, I'm not, I don't have any right to dictate to you what you're going to do. Or even suggest, I, you know, you know, I'm not concerned. But I'm still, you know, concerning myself with you. But, okay, so that's it, you know. So we're in a section. So what exactly are we responsible for, you know? If we're living in a town, there's no problem. No, you know, it's really not too much. Well, exception you know, the persecution of the police, like they want to put everyone in jail, you know, and make a very stupid law, very stupid possible thing they could possibly imagine, you know, just to imprison everybody, you know. And of course, the poisoning going on and all that, but there's nobody dropping bombs on us, and there's, you know, there's nobody like in Israel, like kidnapping little children, and then 
raping them and then harvesting their organs and murdering them. And, uh, you know, that's, I don't believe that's going on here, like in the neighborhood. So if that over in Israel, they're in a different frequency. They're not even really in our reality. We won't perceive that they're in our reality because we see it on the television or whatever, but it's really in another fucking frequency. So what's, what's the deal? Like, why are we being shown this? Are we being shown this just to cause, just for us to, to just to cause division, animosity, and hatred and fear? Is that the only reason that we're being shown this, or is there an, another part to this equation? Think about it. If well, you know, according to these. Observer races, they have an ascended dimension where the ascended masters live, you know. Um, so probably sixth dimension or seventh dimension. See, I think it goes two dimensions. It doesn't go one dimension. It has to go two, you know. But, you know, I could be wrong. But that's why when we see another planet, it's all fucked up because that's the fucked up dimension. That's the one that, you know, it's just that destruction was caused by whatever, but people still exist there in other dimensions, you know. You know, anything's possible, but yeah, so I, you know, I don't know, I don't really have the wisdom really to tell you like, what exactly is the truth? Are we really in the same frequency as Israel and everything that's going on there? Are we in the same frequency as Yemen and what's going on there? You know, wh you know why do you think this Bashar guy comes on there who said he was, he was a, he's a hybrid race that was created by great monkey monsters, or whatever, and they exist in one of the other dimensions, whatever they, yeah, basically. And uh, he said that everything in their existence is synchronicity. Everything is synchronicity, you know, and frequency. He was, he's, I think he mentioned that too, you know. I mean, of course, it's enemy propaganda. He's spewing enemy propaganda. He's not telling, he's telling what, you know, his, you know, deranged version of the truth, you know, it's not the truth. That's what, see, the space, the observer races cannot come down here and tell us the exact truth because then the people would never accept them. If they came down and said, yo, you're about to get wiped out and blah, 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 and really told the people the truth, then everyone would be so fucking terrified. It would just be complete havoc. So they won't even be on the land. I mean, they're already terrified to land. Come on, let's face it. The motherfuckers don't land. Only time they land is way out in the middle of nowhere. They're so, the people are terrified of us. Terrified. They ain't going to admit they're terrified, but you, okay, you, you fly spaceships all over all the fucking time, but you never land. You thought never crossed your mind. Geez, maybe we go down and say what up to the people, you know, smoke a blow on them or something. You know, you know the people. Cow I'm not, I don't say they're cowards now, you know. Not, but yeah, I mean, you know, they always say, Well, they're not ready, they're not ready, they're not ready. They, you know, at this rate, we're never gonna be ready. So <laughs> I don't wanna be negative because we're doing a great job and there is a lot of awareness being inspired here, you know. So all right, that's it. I'm going to let you go with that. But, yeah, they want to be like us, man. You know, everything, you know, they they make it. These people were part of the Gentiles, you know, coalition and wherever these people came from, you know, the clones that they created. So I hope their spirits aren't in bondage. I hope they just somehow, you know, just created a synthetic life form that it resembled us. But I hope the spirits not in bondage. You know, all the spirits got to... Anyways, the message is going to close. So, all right. I'm, I'll let you go. So, it's all love, and we are the brave and true, and I understand. All right, everybody. Peace out.